47 and a half years ago, 14 year old um, a black girl left Indiana and came down to the Mississippi Gulf Coast because she was pregnant. And she had a baby and she put the baby up for adoption. And that baby was me. My name is Kenneth Campbell. I am president of the Black Alliance for Educational Options. I like meeting with people in the communities. I like getting to know them. I like getting to know their stories. I like finding out what their community is all about. Before Katrina, New Orleans academically was well below the state average. It was the worst performing school district in the state, and again, many believe one of the worst in the country. We've really helped to close the achievement gap in the state. So New Orleans is the fastest growing school district in terms of student achievement, and has been for the past five years. Ken is a great person to be the president of Bale and fight for options for minority parents. Ken visits the schools regularly. I think Wright is one of his favorite schools. He has seen the school evolve from a poor performing school to a highly performing school. The first thing I always look at is the eyes of children, you know, and, 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 and to kind of see, you know, that window into their soul and how they're doing. It motivates me every day to see my kids brag about their scores and how they are excelling in reading and Ms. Clark, this is our school, SBW, SBW. It, it gives me such a pride because I know that as a community, we are running this school. Everybody, I think, has a reason for being here, right? There's a, there's a mission that you have. I think education is what unlocks the potential for you to be able to do that mission. I think it's very important that communities let their voices be heard. You know, the voucher program now that has about 5,000 children in Louisiana, the, the funding mechanism for that program was ruled unconstitutional. We were able to get a few hundred parents to come to New Orleans uh, to rally uh, on the steps of the state Supreme Court. And we marched, we sang, we chanted, really to try to make sure people understood that while they're in this room talking about this as if it's just you know some abstract notion about what's in the Constitution and what's not, it has a direct impact on the lives of children and families. I think the fact that we have more autonomy to run our schools and we're not waiting on the bureaucracy in a district just to order the type of textbooks or workbooks or the clubs that we want to have, well, that's a great feeling as an educator. Yeah, I think we're on the right side of history. Uh, where this is concerned, and I think our, our mission is a righteous one. You know, at the end of the day, it's not about bail, uh, and certainly not about me. It really is about, can we help people to see a different future for their children? Can we help them to put a diff different future in place for their kids over what they're getting right now? That, to me, is really what this is all about. Education unlocks the potential that's hidden within all of us and allows us to accomplish whatever mission we were sent here to accomplish.